If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? <laughs> so you do want to mop. Okay, well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. Gus Moda. He's a pro. Not much else to say. McReary? He was part of a well-known Liberty City stick-up crew. Small world. I got a good feeling about him. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well... As long as he can't do it without us. Okay. About to knock off a federal government building. Well, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. So life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need. Put those on. Then what? Then, head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So, I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. You'll have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well, under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Don't worry. I'm on my way to the Bureau. Link up with Packy and Gus, get the fire truck, and be ready for my call. All right. Them dudes is pros, so this should go kind of smooth, right? Is it your first day? Go through the turnstile and head up.
Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up. Crap. There you go. Dirty mop. Ah, shit. In case you needed proof, coffee was a diuretic.
Not a janitor? Was the last one a heart attack or a budget cut? When are you gonna get out of here? When I log my OT for the week. Man, it's not about being a good. They don't work so hard. Building's closing any second. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. Hey, dog, we right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. Hey, look, everybody cool, right? Because once we pick him up, it's all go, all right? In and out, homies. Let's do it. All right, trigger the firebombs, Frank. I'll get my turnout gear on. signal, right? Yep. We'll be the only idiots running into that burning mess. So don't worry. Hold it down! Pull up over here. In the building. Come on. Painkillers all that loose notory weed at the time. Yeah, probably a little bit of both. Cool, dog. Thanks for clearing that shit up. We gotta go across. Take the stairs to the top floor. All right, we're going across to the far stairwell and up to the top floor. Containment drive, come on! It's collapsed! 
this is our way out. We gotta get these doors open. What's up? Hey, give me a hand. Briggs, come on. I see it's street level. I fucking hope so. Torch this fire truck as soon as possible. I'm working on it. Yeah, because if they connect the dots, man, I don't know. Man, I'm working on it. Any minute, they'll be looking for us. I mean, those guys in the building you took down. If they knew, who else is going to know? It ain't worth thinking about, dog. Trust me. I'm going to get us there as fast as I can. All right, shit, shit. I just don't want to run into something. Man, y'all don't want to run into Trevor, bro. That's who you don't want to run into. Haha, <laughs> you're right. So, uh, take us to our get out, avoiding the cops, the feds, and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard, okay? They gotta be looking for us. Chill out, bro. Now that we're in the clear, I can probably tell you people, I didn't think we were gonna make it out of there. But you planned the thing, right? Yeah, I chose the best of two impossible options. We had to sell them that we were firemen to start with. That's a pretty crazy task. And that's just to get the opportunity to have a high-rise fall down on us? Yeah, well, thank you kindly for being so upfront with us on how dangerous this motherfucker What's was. Problem? We made it, didn't we? Whole crew's intact. We're all professionals, know what I'm saying? Scores are easy when you ain't got to depend on no wannabes. Hola. Keep your heads down, you hear? <laughs> well. What? I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! <laughs> Fucking A Ray, we did it! Ow! How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility, it was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Give me oh. some of that. Hey. Ow, ah. ow, ow, ow. Oh. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot <laughs> my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Uh, whatever. Hey, 
Let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. We've got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm oh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <coughs> Man, that's some foul ass shit! Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davy and Dickwell. Uh, for serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis.